Welcome everybody to my today's show. My name is Cindy and this is Navita over here. And today we will be talking about the story called Ramayana. So tell us, Nadir, more about the story of the Ramayana. Okay, well, the Ramayana is a immortal tale of Sri Rama. He's the author of the list. Um, it teaches us the values of ideology, devotion, duty, relationships, dharma, and karma. So basically, in this clip, we are going to see where um, Sita and Rama, um, they are introduced. Sita is in love with Rama, and um, she tells him that she would be able to do anything, that she's in love with him. Now, before this happens, um, they met They met at a ceremony called Swa, Swayamvara, I believe. It is organized by her father, Janaka, the king of Bithila, to identify a suitable bridegroom for her lovely daughter. Um, and this is where they get to know each other. This is where Sita knew um, Rama and... Um, that's where they started to to get to know each other, and this leads um, Sita to to Garland Rama as her husband. So let's go ahead and see that clip right now. Rama, you know I love you with all my heart, and I will always be here for you. Me and you will reign this palace, because you are my king, and I am your queen. Forever I will be your queen. I promise you I will never let you go. I love you so much. Yes, Sita. We will rule the world. You are my princess, and I am your husband. And we will ruin the palace. You will come to live with me in the Forbidden Kingdom. What do you think, Sita? I mean, if it's with you, Papa, I will do it just for you. I love you, Rama. All right, you have said, and you will also honor my father. You are my love, Sita. I love you. Well, okay, we just saw the first clip of Rama and Sita. Now, Nadi, tell us what is the second scene? What goes next? Well, basically, Rama's father, Dasharatha, is uh, the king. And he has three wives and four sons. Rama is the oldest. And Rama also has a mother. And, um... While Rama is all set for coronation, his stepmother, evil stepmother of Dasharatha's second wife, which his name is Kaiki, wants her son, Bharatha, to become king. Before the aged king could hand over his crown to his eldest son, Rama, Dasharatha is designed to die. And so instead of being crowned Rama as king, Rama is sent to exile in the forest for 14 years by an intrigue in the palace and a quirk of fate. Wow. Oh my gosh. He is banished for 14 years in forest. That is correct. He is. Now, Rama's father is also dead, and all Rama could do is disobey his father. Because I think, wait, but wasn't Rama's father sick or something like that? Sure, yeah. Rama's dad had a wife. And the wife took care of him when he was sick. So, um, Rama's father told him, told um, the wife, since you have taken good care of me, I will do something for you. Okay. I will do something for you. And so when they were going to crown Rama, that's when the wife stepped in and she banned Rama for 14 years into the forest. Wow. That is really incredible. Now, now let's go ahead and see a clip of um, of when Rama gets um, is about to get crowned and gets banished. Let's go ahead and see that clip, and we'll be right back. Son, I want to give you my crown because it's really heavy and you deserve it. Stop! Why? You told me that you're gonna do something for me. So that's all. Send them to the cage. Send them to the forest now. For I am your wife. And you will do what I say because I took care of you when you were sick. Sorry, son. Get the hell out of here. Rama, I'm sorry. But you will have to go out. Even though this is a horrible situation, I want to tell you that I'm pleased to be with you here. 
even though and if it's this dark gross place I love you and I will do anything for you okay let's go oh, you're so lazy but I still love you my dear even though we're going to the forest trapped together you will be with me and you will be in a place where you cannot pass if you will pass, you will be forbidden, and you will get down with the evil guys, and they will take you far away from here. You have to stay here with me. Do not pass this circle. Okay. My dear Sita, I'm afraid to tell you that you cannot move from here. You cannot step from here. If you do, the evil will get you, and I will never see you again. I won't, Rama. I promise. I will stay here for you, and only for you. Because after all, your beer is... never mind. I will be here for you. To infinity and beyond. Welcome back, everybody. So we just saw a clip of uh, Rama and Sita in the forest. Um, and this is because he was banished for how many years? 14 years. He was banished for 14 years by his father um, because his father's wife demanded him to do so. And so right now, right now in this clip we just saw where um, Rama and his wife are living a simple yet happy life in the forest. But sadly enough, tragedy strikes and um, they, they want to take um, Sita away from her mom. Oh wow, so tell us more about that, Nadir. Well, basically, tragedy strikes, henceforth the plot revolves around the abduction of Sita by the demon king called Ravana, and um, it is a ten-headed ruler of Lanka, and Rama's pursuit to rescue her, aided by Lashmana, Lashkamana, and the mighty monkey's general, Hanuman. There is flying monkeys in the story as well. And so, um, Sita is held captive in the island as Ravana tries to persuade her to marry him. But Sita denies she does not want to marry him. She wants to listen to, um, to her husband, Rama. And so, um, Rama assembles an assembly, an army, um, mainly of monkeys under the brave Hanuman. They attack Ravana's army, and after a fierce battle, they succeed in killing the demon king and freeing Sita, reuniting her with Rama. And uh, before the attack, before the attack and everything, um, Rama tells Sita to not get out of a certain circle and not to step of a line, because if she does step in the line, then she will be in big trouble. And um, as you can see in the video. Um, we see that Rama tells Sita to not move from here because she will be um, she'll be um, kidnapped by the evil king, as we said right now, Ravana. So um, let's go ahead and see what is next. Okay, everyone. Like Nadir said, we will be back right now and um, check it out. This place is so weird, and is it weird? I mean, like I don't like the environment. I know it's a lot of nature, but I'm feeling depressed, but I'll do anything for Rama, I will. I'll try to appreciate everything. Wait, speaking of Rama, where is he? Rama, I think I slept too long. I, I would just say, I, I'm the sneaky fox. Sneaky fox who that only comes out in Dora the Explorer. I, I'm the good one though. I'm the good. I'm, I'm the cousin. Go away, Rama. I will think something between no, us. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got candy. I don't need candy. Uh, I, I, I got uh, good candy. I don't need good candy. Uh, I, I got a nut spots. I don't. There's no electricity here. We're in the forest, fox. Oh, uh, I got vodka. You like vodka? Vodka? Yes, 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 vodka. Drink, drunk, vodka? Yes. Uh, the bottle, the bottle. Which one? The, the good one, the one you like. Jack Daniels? Uh-huh. Jack um, Daniels is this small, liar. Oh, yeah, yeah, this small. I meant this small. 
Come here. Put just come. a sip. Yes, yes, come here. Okay. Come here. Come here. What is ah! Oh my god, I'm yeah, I got her now. You are a slut. I told you to not pass the little circle and you did it. You I did it. I didn't pass it, Rama. I'm not a slut. Don't call me a slut. Don't call me that. You are if anyone know that I'm not a slut. I barely even do things with you. I grab your head and I fight. think I'm low. Don't hit me, Rama. Don't call me a slut. I you are love disgusting. you. You are disgusting. You are disgusting to me. You understand? You are disgusting to me. You dishonor me. For you also dishonored my father. You are now a slut. I cannot believe this. My promise. For you have to prove to me that you are pure, that you are still a virgin. You have to prove to me by fire. You have to walk through fire. And you also have to do some miracles. I will do it, I promise. You still have to prove to me, Rosita. You have to prove to me that you're pure. Or else will I will not... Just stop saying that, I will. I'll prove to you because I love you, Rama. I am so sad because Rama doesn't believe me. He thinks I'm a slut. Well, I'm not a slut, I promise. I, I will prove it through the fire. Even though I can't anymore, because I'm, I'm pregnant with Rama's baby. What am I going to do? Hi, welcome back, guys. Uh, again, this is Nadir. So we just saw a clip where um, Sita was kidnapped by the king Ravana, and um, now we are about to see, going to see a clip where. Um, Sita sees Rama again. Rama finds her and he's really disappointed with her. So what do you think? Why? Why do you think that happens, Cindy? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would be, um, I don't know why Rama would act like that with Sita. I mean, Sita did not do anything. She is, um, she's so pure. She did not do anything wrong. And that's as far as I know. Well, yeah, you're basically right. I mean, I, I would say the same thing. Um, but now what we're about to see is where uh, Rama tells her that basically she's a slut. She is not clean. She, um, she met other guys, and I don't know what she did. Um, so let's go ahead and see that quick view, and we'll be right back. Rama, what are you doing here? I'm here for you. I want you back, Sita. And my children. I can't take you back. Why not? I want you. Because you, you called me a slut. But you And you didn't believe that these two beautiful chocolate and vanilla children were yours. But you but thought I was a cheater no, and no. I would never cheat no, on you. No, but you passed the test. And now I want me... Oh, I want you and your my children back. Please, Sita. Please. 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 So now, I have my two children, beautiful are they, and he's begging for me back. I am the queen now. Okay, everybody, so this is the end of the Ramayana story, and I hope that you guys um, learned something from this. This lesson focuses on how the Ramayana teaches Indians to perform their dharma, and... So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and have a great day.